What's up and welcome back to another Madden 22 rebuild I have for you guys here today. Today it's going to be a fantasy rebuild of the Chargers. Uh, now the Chargers have a really promising roster. As long as everybody can stay healthy in real life, uh, they do have a pretty good team. Uh, that's been a struggle of theirs for the past couple of seasons, but that won't be an issue here in this rebuild since injuries are turned off. But they have a cool team. I think they have a bright future. Hopefully we can make some trades to make that future a little bit brighter. Um, but let's go ahead and get started with this one. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see. Now, I definitely don't think uh, we are going to have to take a quarterback at any point in this video. Justin Herbert should be good this whole time. He's an 80 overall. He was a great rookie last year. A star dev as well. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if he goes up to superstar, maybe even X Factor by the end of this. Um, but yeah, he has really good stats. Justin Herbert is a good quarterback. Now, I'm expecting him to be like somewhere in the 90s by the end of this. I feel like he could definitely develop that well. Um, at running back, we have Austin Eckler. Now, Austin Eckler is really good, right? He's a great running back, 85 overall. Um, but he is 26, and that worries me a little bit. I don't want him to start regressing. He is really good, though. He's a great receiving back. He even has pretty good trucking. He's actually really well-rounded in general. Um, Austin Eckler's great. I'm going to keep him as long as I can. I hope he doesn't regress at all because uh, I'd like to keep him starting. Maybe he can even develop a little bit. That'd be nice. Uh, Keenan Allen, another player in a similar boat but a bit older, right? But he's 93 overall. Superstar X Factor. Keenan Allen is a really good receiver. One of the best route runners in the entire NFL. Some of the best hands as well. Uh, Keenan Allen is sick. He's, in he's obviously incredible. Um, I'm going to try to keep him as long as I can as well. I feel like I should be able to. I don't think he'll regress that badly. Um, but then here at the, the number two position, we have Mike Williams. Another player who's 26, so he's getting close to regression. Uh, but Mike Williams is also pretty good. He normally plays really well in Madden. I wonder if he still plays well in this game. Um, I'm going to keep him at least as the two probably for the next couple of seasons. And then we definitely need to get uh, a new three, I think. I mean, Guyton's not terrible. Right? He's 71 overall. Only two years of experience. It's not that bad. We can probably keep him as uh, the number three for a little while here, but I'd like to draft uh, number three receiver. Uh, Rashawn Slater was their first round selection in this past draft. He's a good looking tackle here. 75 overall hidden dev trait. Uh, he should be good for the long run. I hope he doesn't perform badly. I want him to progress as much as possible. Corey Lindsley's really good at center. He's 30, but he should be good for at least a couple seasons. Uh, Brian Bulaga might be the same way couple years older. I hope he doesn't retire soon, but I'm going to keep these guys as long as I can. I don't think they have any trade value anyway, so there's no reason to get rid of them. Also considering they are in the upper 80s right now. Uh, Jared Cook is a player I'll probably keep for this year, but definitely uh, we have to look for a new tight end because he is going to probably retire after this season. And uh, I, I kind of want to draft a tight end. I haven't really drafted a tight end who has played too much uh, this year yet. The last rebuild, I think, Pretty sure the Lions won. I drafted a superstar tight end at some point, and uh, I didn't end up actually using him too much, obviously, because they have TJ Hawkinson, but I want to do that again in this rebuild. That'd be cool. Um, but then on the defense over here, according to Madden, this side of the ball isn't better, but I feel like it is a bit more exciting here because we have more superstar X factors, right? I think there's only one on the offense. Yeah, and there's two on the defense. Let's start off talking about one of them, Derwin James. Now, Derwin James is insane. Obviously, he's had trouble staying healthy in real life, um, but he is absolutely incredible. He's one of the most versatile players in the entire NFL. He does so many things for this Chargers defense, or at least he did, you know, in the past. I don't know exactly what he's doing this year. I assume he's picking up where he left off, uh, but Derwin James is absolutely phenomenal. Fear Nasir starting at free safety. Good old Nasir Adderley. I'll keep him for a little while. Safeties are pretty easy to find in drafts. So if I find a stud, I'll probably will replace Adderley, but we'll keep him for at least this season. Um, and then their cornerbacks. We have Chris Harris Jr. He's really good, but he's 32. I'll keep him for a little while, though, for sure. Mike Davis, or Michael Davis, is the number two corner. And then Asante Samuel Jr., a player I'm really excited uh, just to see how he pans out in real life, honestly, just because of how good his dad was. Um, but here in Madden, he's a 73 hidden dev. Pretty sure he played well in, uh, in training camp and whatnot. I don't know how he's doing in the actual football games. I have not watched many Chargers games. Um, but Asante Samuel Jr. should be sick for us in this rebuild. Let's talk about the linebacking core. Then Joey Bosa starting at left outside linebacker. Of course, an edge player on this team. He's ridiculous. One of the best edges in all of football for sure. He has really good power and finesse moves, but his finesse moves are at 96. And then Nwosu is starting at right outside linebacker. I still never knew how to pronounce his last name. I've kind of just always said that, but uh, he's a good player. He's a lot of potential here. Only 24. 
Uh, he should progress well alongside Bosa. And then Kenneth Murray and Drew Tranquil are the middle linebackers. Now, Murray's fine. He's going to chill here this whole time, most likely. He's only 22. Uh, Drew Tranquil doesn't have many years of experience, but he's already 26. I kind of want to get a different linebacker at some point. Jerry Tillery. Another pretty young player, 24 years old for him. He can stay for a little while. Justin Jones at left end. He's not too bad, I guess. And then Linval Joseph, the big 329D tackle. Um, he is old, though. So we definitely have to look to get a new defensive tackle at some point, hopefully in this first draft. Um, but I do want to go through and trade some players on this team. I really don't know how much value I'm going to have, but it would be nice to get at least one extra first round draft pick. I don't think it's going to be possible for me to get a first round draft pick this year uh, with the players I am willing to give up. So I am settling for the Packers first next year. I'm kind of just really hoping they just suck. Like they probably won't. Um, but maybe losing Devontae Adams will mean a lot. And like, I don't think this is going to happen, but who knows? Maybe Aaron Rodgers could just retire. That'd be sick. Even then, I think Jordan Love would just do well. But we're getting rid of Filer Jackson and a fifth round draft pick next year for the Packers first next year. And I don't really know if I can even make another trade here. I think this is going to be the final trade I make then. We are giving the Bills Jones, Fackrell, and Davis for their second this year. Uh, I really couldn't get much better than this for like the remaining trade value I have on the team. There really isn't much <laughs> left on this team. I'm hoping the Bills just perform badly. I've seen that happen a couple times. Like I've seen uh, uh, the Bills actually have like a top 10 pick. So that'd be really nice that that can happen here. Yeah, so obviously uh, the team didn't really change much. We just kind of got rid of a couple like backups, like a few starters. And uh, we got some draft picks for them. Sadly, I wasn't able to get a first this year. There was like no way I think I was able to do that. Unless I traded someone like really good on this team. Who I'd rather just keep on the team. So I'm just going to, you know, go that route. Uh, but there's the offense. Here is the defense. I think this team can do all right. Uh, we're in a tough division. Like the Chiefs are always ridiculous. And uh, I don't really think we're going to make the playoffs. But for this season, I just hope Justin Herbert can play well. I hope Rashawn Slater can develop. And a couple guys on the defense can do well. All right, so what do we want to work on with Rashawn Slater? Probably pass blocking. And then I just hit pass block power by accident, but that's fine. And Rashawn Slater is going to be helped the rest of the season by Corey Lindsley. Let's go. That's sick. Now we're talking about Chris Rumpf. Cool. All right, Joey Bosa, what do you got to say about him? Plus four to block shed. Okay. Nice. I don't think he's going to play too much, but I'll take it. We also have a camp standout. A lot of stuff happening right now. Oh, it's in Wosu. That's sick. Let's go play wreck. Why not? I wish that was block shedding, but it's fine. We are also absolutely going to be stealing uh, the offensive playbook of a divisional rival. We are going to be choosing the playbook of the Kansas City Chiefs. It's really just smart if we're trying to develop a quarterback. So uh, let's certainly go ahead and do that. And let's see what the Chargers defensive playbook is all about. If I'm not getting good sack numbers from Joey Bosa and Nwosu and whatnot, I think I might switch to the Packers. The Packers seem to have a pretty good defensive playbook in this game. Also, Rashawn Slater just got 4,500 experience. That's amazing. That's very useful. That might be one full experience point. I guess let's go ahead and see if Nwosu can continue his camp breakout thing he actually did the first step of this which is nice Ten thousand experience now for him which is huge it could be like two experience points uh for a player his age and now i don't think he'll get this one done i don't think i've ever had a player get to this point and actually progress more after this so let's see what happens in this week two game against the cowboys we lost the game which isn't good but didn't most who do his thing he did not okay uh the team's really not in a good spot right now we are two and four but Maybe we can continue losing then and actually just get a good draft pick. Uh, that'd be pretty cool. Who has to come back to the team though? Chris Harris is the top free agent. I should probably bring him back. Uh, Jared Cook, I don't really want too much anymore. Mike Williams. I don't know if I want him for four years. Mike Williams is good, but I don't know, man. He's going to be regressing most of that contract, so I'm not sure. Linval Joseph, I don't. Uh, want him anymore, but in Wosu I do we're certainly going to be bringing um, Our right outside linebacker back to the team for another four seasons. That is great uh, You know Guyton Isn't a bad receiver, but I think we can replace him pretty easily and then Chris Harris I'm gonna wait for him to regress and then maybe his contract will go down a little bit more. Yeah, the team didn't do well uh, We finished 6 and 11, but maybe Justin Herbert still did well Yeah, he had 5,600 passing yards Okay, yeah, he still went crazy. 
41 touchdowns, 16 picks. Yeah, that's a great season. Thank you, Justin Herbert. Austin Eckler was all right. Nothing spectacular. Eight touchdowns is pretty nice, though. 2,000 receiving yards for Keenan Allen? What? What? How did this happen? Excuse me? 2,023 receiving yards? I've never seen this happen. I've never had a receiver get over 2K yards. All right, well, 18 touchdowns. I mean, I understand there's an extra game in here. Like, compared to, like, past Madden uh, rebuilds and stuff like that. But even still, that's ridiculous. <laughs> Jared Cook had a good season. Mike Williams is pretty good. Guyton had five touchdowns. Oh my God, though. <laughs> That's ridiculous. He had to have led the NFL by like 400 yards. Yep, yeah, <laughs> it wasn't even that close. Jesus Christ. And touchdowns, not catches though. That's ridiculous, man. Not many sacks allowed either. All right, so the offense was really good. 136 tackles there for Kenneth Murray. 14 tackles for loss for Jerry Tillery. 11 and a half sacks for Joey Bosa. Two picks for Derwin James and Asante Samuel. One for Drew Tranquil, Nasir Adderley, Kenneth Murray, Chris Harris, Ryan Smith, and is this Alohi Gilman? Is that how you pronounce his first name? That's a sick first name if that's how you pronounce it. <laughs> I like that one. Fifth in the NFL on offense. And then defensively, 32nd. That kind of explains the record. Um, I kind of feel like Keenan Allen should be on the MVP list. But, all right, Justin Herbert's there at number eight. I mean, I'll take it. Offensive player of the year, he has to be on this list. Bro, he's not. What does a receiver have to do? That's actually ridiculous. I mean, Justin Herbert's there. That's cool. Defensive player of the year. Anybody from the Chargers? No, I don't think so. Offensive Rookie of the Year. No one from the Chargers. Defensive Rookie of the Year. We have Asante Samuel at number three. That's cool. Uh, best receiver real quick. Okay, just wanted to make sure. Yeah, it's what I thought. Um, <laughs> Keenan Allen set the uh, NFL record for receiving yards in a season. Now, obviously, these should all have like an asterisk next to them. All like the ones 2021 20, and on because there's an extra game. Um, but I, yeah, I just, I just wanted to make sure. And also... um. Three quarterbacks are on the list for uh, passing yards already. All right, that's just, it's just crazy. I mean, yeah, there's an extra game that's going to happen. But I feel like the passing stats in this game are completely juiced. Also, Nick Chubb had over 2,000 rushing yards. It's nuts. Anyway, <laughs> let's uh, go to the Super Bowl. <laughs> yeah, our good old uh, our good old friends of the Chiefs are in the Super Bowl. The, the bully of this division right now. Uh, but so are the Packers. So let's see who wins. Probably the Chiefs. They're ridiculous. I don't even know if I want to rebuild them. Like, I will. I'm going to rebuild every team at some point. But there's no point in even rebuilding the Chiefs. I feel like once I get there, I'll have to just go for, like, an undefeated rebuild or something like that. Um, but the Chiefs are going to win 40-34. to 34. Let's go to the next week here. And let's see who's up in dev trade. Now, obviously, Keenan Allen would be up if he could. <laughs> um, but Justin Herbert is up to superstar. That's what we like to see. I don't think anyone is up in development trade right on the defense. Sante Samuel has star as well, if you didn't know. But uh, let me check out the players again. So Chris Harris. Chris Harris. He's an 81. He's not that bad. He's a good nickel corner, if anything. He wants to play for a new team. I can probably try to give him a contract in free agency. I don't want Jared Cook. Now, I don't think I want Mike Williams. I don't. I don't want Mike Williams for four years. Like, he's good, but I don't want to give him a four-year contract. And I guarantee, like, I'd give him a two-year deal. But if I try this, he's not going to accept it. Yeah, okay, he's going to test that for agency. A four-year contract, and he's 27, only an 84. Don't think it's worth it. I like Mike Williams. I think he's sick, but I just don't think he's worth the money right now. We definitely have to sign a receiver, though. We could go after Devontae Adams. Teron Armstead's here again. Dude, I don't know what to do here, man. Teron Armstead's so good. He's on 95. How many points are the Raiders giving him? That might sway my, my options here. Oh, 100 is, like, really close. I'm going to give him a contract. He's just so good. All right, 105 total points. Let's try that. Um, We definitely have to look at receiver, though. So, Devontae Adams, Chris Godwin, Mike Williams isn't getting any contracts. I wonder if we can get Mike Williams back on a two-year deal. 53 points. I will offer you 53 points this first week. That's fine. Um, Now, cornerback could really use a corner. The only corner we have on the team right now is Asante Samuel. Yikes. We definitely need a couple of corners here. I might pay quite good money for JC Jackson. Because he's good. For three years, he'd be great on this team. 
And that's already on top of the Seahawks. Let me give him a little bit more. Let's go into the hundreds. 101. That's fine. So we can have JC Jackson. We can have Asante Samuel Jr. And then I just need a nickel. So Chris Harris, I don't mind giving a one-year contract to. Perfectly fine with having him on the team for a season. The thing is, like, I really want to get Devontae Adams. Should I give him a contract? Devontae Adams and Keenan Allen here? 43 points. I'll offer him 43 points for now. But let's advance by here. We got Devontae Adams. Sure, dude. We also got Mike Williams, but we did not get to Ron Armstead. No. That actually sucks. Quite a bit. We also didn't hear back from JC Jackson. We are still the top team on JC Jackson. Let's bump it up a little bit more. 103 total points. That's fine. Who did Teron Armstead go to? He went to the Raiders. I was trying to prevent that. We also didn't hear back from Chris Harris. Let me actually just check that out quick. Um, we are still the only team giving him a contract. Okay. We got JC Jackson and we got Chris Harris. All right. That's awesome. All right. Let's load into the draft. So we should have a pretty good pick, I think. Yeah, we have the fifth pick overall. Sick. Let's advance straight there. And uh, I need to look around. I have no idea who I want to take. I'm thinking we certainly take good old Preston Murphy. He fits the scheme. He's a power rusher. Early first round talent. I think this is a pretty easy selection. He only has normal. That is rough, but he is really good. 85 speed and acceleration, 81 power move, 70 block shed. He's a good player. He's going to play quite a bit, and uh, ideally, he will go up in dev trait. And now in the second round, I think I'm going to take another D lineman. And then our D line should be pretty good for a long time. Sadly, the tight ends in this class aren't great. But I do want a defensive tackle or a corner. Hold on. First, let me see if the corner is available. He is not. So the D-line it is, I think. So Devin Pryor, I'm pretty sure, is going to be the pick here. He's an early first round talent, mid first round talent for Devon Nails. Let's take Pryor. 76 head in. All right. That's a great pick. He's going to start a defensive tackle for sure. And he is an excellent player. We also have the pick after this one. And Nails was also a 76. So we really could not have uh, went wrong there. Which is kind of nice to know, I guess. Um, now, I'd kind of want a linebacker at some point, And Kerry Hooks looks pretty good. Like, I do really want to take him. I can probably take him next round. Let's see who else is available in this round. And if I can't find anybody I really want, we might just trade this pick away. Like, I don't think I have any first round talent players left. Yeah, I don't. So maybe we trade this pick away. Let's see what's being offered. I mean, I'll take a second next year for sure. Or I can take a first next year from the Buccaneers. Yeah, I think I'm certainly taking that. This isn't even close. I'm definitely taking this first next year from the Buccaneers. Who did they trade up to take? Pretty good looking running back, actually. Not a terrible, not a terrible trade up, I guess. Considering the Buccaneers are probably going to be really good next year anyway. Uh, so that first round selection really isn't going to be that good. But here in the third round... I want to take this linebacker. Going very defense heavy in this draft, but there's not much I need on the offense that I can get in this draft, right? I really just need offensive linemen and tight end, and this tight end and O-line class are pretty bad, at least the players I scouted. But let's take this middle linebacker. Kerry Hooks looks really good. He is a 71 normal, um, but he's definitely going to be the number two middle linebacker on this team. I could have totally missed some O-linemen. I scouted all the centers, and they really didn't look that good. I'm probably still going to take a couple of them, though, because I really desperately need some O-linemen. And the tight ends just aren't that solid. I definitely need one, though. Uh, so we should probably take Michael Kroger is who I'm thinking of here. Early third round talent. Late fifth round projection. Yeah, let's just do it. He's a 70. He's going to play. Like, he's for sure going to play. He's really not that good. But he's better than uh, whoever we have there now. I think some of these centers should be left, right? Okay, so the best center in this class was actually this guy. And he's a seventh round projection. I'm just going to take him now to make sure I get him. Sam Harris, 68. Yeah, this O-line class really wasn't that solid, but he's probably going to play somewhere. All right, any like good combine grade guards left? Like there's a seventh round guard all the way down here. Yeah, okay, so it doesn't really look like we're going to get another offensive lineman. Instead, let's take this receiver. He's really not going to be anything good, though. Like, is that even worth it? Maybe I can just find a really fast receiver to take instead. Yeah, 433 speed. I'm going to take this guy instead. He's a 70. Okay. <laughs> He's actually a lot better. 95 speed and acceleration. Yeah. Sure, I'm sure that guy is way better than the other dude. The other guy is actually still here, but I, I don't really want him. <laughs> just straight up. I don't, I don't really want that guy. We can maybe take a running back. 
I'm gonna take Dom Hunt. 65, really nothing special. And then in the seventh round, we might as well take a player. All right, is this one center still here? I threw one center on the draft board and he is still here just because of his combine grade. Oh, he's actually really good. What? Okay, 68 overall, he's supposed to go undrafted. That was a really good player actually. I think that draft went pretty well. We didn't get many dev traits, but we also didn't really have many like extra draft picks. This is pretty much just the normal Chargers draft with an extra fifth in here. I think we potentially have like six starters here. So we have the left end, the D tackle, the middle linebacker, the tight end. This center will probably start somewhere and then this center will probably start somewhere. And then maybe Friedman can be like a kick and punt returner. So we got a lot of value, I feel like, in this draft. Um, but I do need to check out the rest of the class because I am curious to see what some of the offensive linemen are looking like. Because I didn't see many good ones, but I could have just missed out completely. I'm not going to lie, I mainly just scouted centers because that's usually where all the talent is anyway. But the best player in the class is a receiver, Titus Parker. Hidden dev trait, 97 speed, just one of those guys. Jamie Lamb, Daniel Taylor both look really good. A couple quarterbacks. Marquis Perry, nice looking safety. Could have got him in the second round. I actually didn't even see this guy. I wasn't really concerned with safety that much. Um, this is the left end we got, which is nice. There's nails. Does he have hidden? He has normal, so he made the right choice. Let's go. <laughs> I love that. But uh, yeah, I think this, this draft went pretty well for us. And where is the top O lineman? If I'm not mistaken, the top O lineman is Mateo Hernandez. He has hidden dev, which is cool, but he's a 71. Yeah, this uh, offensive lineman class was pretty bad. <laughs> there really wasn't uh, much for me to do here. So I'm pretty sure the team is completely in order. Um, I don't think I'm going to make any trades. I don't really think I have to right now. I just want to see how this team plays and see what kind of holes develop throughout the season. But for right now, we're trying out a bunch of rookies, and I think most of them are going to pan out at least. On the offense, we have Walner, we have Harris, and we have Kroger. All starting. I feel like the offensive linemen should be good. They both went up to a 70 at guard, which is nice. So uh, typically, if you can get like a 70 overall rookie, you're pretty good. They will normally develop into at least like starting caliber offensive linemen. And then Kroger, like, I've seen, like, 68 overall tight ends go crazy. So maybe he can do something here. That would be pretty cool. Uh, but, you know, Keenan Allen, <laughs> that would be awesome if he can continue his dominance. He has Devontae Adams on the team now with him. So theoretically, that should free him up a little bit more. But also, I mean, Devontae Adams is going to take some targets. Probably a lot. He should take a lot of targets away. So this offense should be great. Justin Herbert has a ton of different options to throw the ball to, which is nice. And then on defense, we have two new D linemen, Pryor and Murphy. We have a new middle linebacker. Uh, JC Jackson is on the team now. I want Asante Samuel being the two for sure. Definitely want him being a boundary corner. Chris Harris is here to be the nickel corner. Uh, I should probably sign a couple backups because Derwin James is currently the number four corner. I will definitely get to that. But yeah, I think the team's in a good spot. We're in 86, 88 offense, 84 defense, and hopefully we can compete with the Chiefs this year. They're definitely the biggest threat in this division. We have another camp standout this year, which is really nice. It is four in Wosu again. Let's go into tackling this time. Last time we went into play rec, now he has plus five tackling. Sick. It'd be nice if Nwosu can get to the same stage he did last year with his camp breakout thing. I'd definitely take another 10,000 experience for him. There we go. He got it to go through once again. So 10,000 more experience. Sadly, and Wosu didn't get the second challenge done, but you know what? It's all good. We are here six and one at the midseason mark. That is amazing. Let's see if the D tackle has his dev trait revealed yet. He does not. Oh, we signed Brandon Williams. I didn't do that. Why? All right. Well, Pryor is still playing a good bit. He just doesn't have his dev trait revealed just yet. Let's see who has to come back to the team first. And then I'll advance a couple more weeks into the future. Oh, Derwin James, I want. Jerry Tillery, I should probably bring back. Um, but Derwin James is the only player, like, 100% I need a back on the team. He is coming back. Nice. So, Brian Bulaga, I'll bring back if he's still here at the end of the season. Chris Harris, I think we can move on from now. Nasir Adderley, we might be able to move on from as well. Jerry Tillery is pretty good. He's star dev. I mean, I'll bring him back. He's also pretty cheap. He doesn't want to come back. You're getting a contract at the end of the year. The defensive tackle has star dev. I kind of figured, but you know what? It's worth showing off. So we made the playoffs, but we finished 10 and 7. Not nearly as good as I thought, but we actually have uh, like the same overall as the Chiefs across the board. That's pretty cool. Let's check out the statistics. How did Justin Herbert do? 50 passing touchdowns, 5,200 yards, 10 picks. My God, he might be MVP. Austin Eckler was far better this year. 13 touchdowns, 5 yards per carry. Yeah, he played really well. 
Keenan Allen. Dude, why is he so good? 12 touchdowns for Devontae Adams, 7 for Mike Williams, and 7 for the rookie tight end. Told you he'd have a good year, dude. Let's go. Uh, the offensive line was pretty good aside from the tackles. Uh, defensively, 125 tackles for Kenneth Murray, 18 tackles for loss for rookie Devin Pryor, 15 and a half sacks for Bosa, 11 and a half for the rookie D-end. Murphy, let's go. Seven picks for JC Jackson. Dude, this team's going crazy. Two for Kerry Hooks, one for Kenneth Murray, Chris Harris, Derwin James, and Asante Samuel. Second in the NFL in offense, and then defensively 24th, moving up a little bit. Justin Herbert will be the MVP. Let's go. AFC Offensive Player of the Year, Justin Herbert. He should be up to Superstar X Factor then. Defensive Player of the Year, Joey Bosa at number five. Also, JC Jackson at number nine. Offensive Rookie of the Year, Michael Kroger, the tight end at three. Look at that. Defensive Rookie of the Year, Preston Murphy, the D end. Kerry Hooks at number four. Devin Pryor at number five. This offseason, honestly, just went like perfectly. The team got so much better. I love that. All right, we have to take on the Chiefs. This is going to be tough. This is definitely going to be a tough one. Please tell me we can beat the Chiefs. We can't. Yeah, okay. Didn't really expect to beat them. They're a really good team. But let's go to the Super Bowl. They might even repeat. They very well could repeat. They're in the Super Bowl again. I'm telling you, man, the Chiefs just so glitchy. Are they going to win? They do. 35-14. to 14. All right, let's go by this week. And let me check out who is up in dev trait. Justin Herbert should certainly be up in dev. Please tell me he is. He absolutely is. He has four more experience points as well. Kroger went up. Dude, let's go. Kroger's the dude. Also, where is our center? What are you doing here? Oh, I never moved you to left guard. Okay. There's not much we need on this side of the ball, I don't think, man. Unless I can draft like a really good old lineman. I'm fine with the offensive line. I might still look to take a tight end, but Kroger is perfectly fine to play again. The receivers and quarterback and running back obviously are all good. Um, but then defensively, anyone up in dev trade. So Murphy is. That's sick. And I think that's it. How did JC Jackson not go up? That's ridiculous. But at least Murphy is. He has two more experience points as well. Awesome. Okay, so I think a lot of the positions I'm looking to draft are on defense again. Like, I'm sorry that I keep going into the defense, but there's really not much I need on the offense. When you have Justin Herbert, Devontae Adams, Keenan Allen, and Austin Eckler all on the same team, you don't need much. And also, like, a, a good enough offensive line. All right, so I think I want to bring back Brian Bulaga, um, but I do think I can wait. I think I can at least get him next week. So let me see the, the free agents before I go after him. Um, and then Jerry Tillery. He's at least a good, like, backup. What do you like about this contract? The, the length. Okay, so he's at least a good backup. I'll give him a little bit more money here. And he's coming back to the team. I mean, that's fine. Fear Nasir, Drew Tranquil, I'm not going to bring back. Nasir Adderley is not too bad, but I think I can get a different free safety, either in the draft or in free agency. So let's advance to next week. Let's hop into free agency. And we have $49 million to spend. Okay. The top free agent is Kareem Hunt. I was going to say Tyreek Hill, but no. All right. So who do I want in free agency? Um, we could use a free safety. I see Juan Thornhill. I might look at the, the safeties in the draft first, though. Sean Murphy bunting is actually really good. Or Greedy Williams. Yeah, I think I'm going to sign a corner. I don't want to I don't want to risk drafting one. So let me actually just get Sean Murphy bunting on the team. Or I mean, I at least try to, right? It's not guaranteed. I'm going to give him a contract, though. See if we can get above the Saints, and we can with that contract. That's nice. I don't think there's any D-linemen here I really want. I'd rather start the guys I already have on the team. And now, we need a tackle, right? So Brian Bulaga might be it again. I think he's going to be. Yeah, let's just go ahead and get Brian Bulaga back on the team again. Could still look to draft one, that's for sure. But drafting tackles is very difficult. I think I can get a safety in the draft. I don't think I have to go after Juan Thornhill. Um, so I didn't give him a contract. But Sean Murphy Bunting and Brian Bulaga are going to accept. It's awesome. Let's hop into the draft. We have three first round draft picks in this one, which is pretty cool. There's no one I would like to trade up for. So let's go to pick number 17. And I think I know who I want to take with this pick. It's going to be Jamal Walters. Early first round talent. Let's take him. 77 hidden. Okay. I think he plays over Jerry Tillery then. Because he has uh, more potential for sure. And now let's just go right to this next pick here. And I think I'm just going to take my players who I want just straight in a row, even though they're not supposed to go yet. So uh, we're going to go to the receivers. 
Dude, this receiving class is stacked, by the way. There are so many good players. Like, these guys all look very solid. We're going to take Brooks Weber because he ran a 427. He's a 76 normal. 96 speed, 91 excel. Yeah, that guy is a fast man. With this pick, I think I'm going to take this tight end. Just want to make sure I get him. Dude, Cole Fry looks sick. 75 normal. Oh, I have a decision to make now. Because the tight end we just had last year went up in dev trait. But Cole Fry looks really good. He had 86 speed, 84 catching. I might start Fry because he seems like the much better receiver. Oh, wait. Did I not take a safety? I did not, but he's still here. Thank you. Anthony Ware. I want this guy. Please have hidden. Oh, he has normal. He's still going to play, though. 89 speed, 91 excel. It's just like having Nasir Adderley. Like, again. <laughs> he's like the same overall. Um, but obviously more potential. And now all I have left on the draft board are tight ends. So let's take one. Why not? Early second rounder. It's probably going to be that guy. It definitely will be. Jared Mays. 74. It's a good tight end class right here, man. There was actually a pretty good looking center in this class. I wasn't able to get him. I think I would have had to take him in the first round. I don't really think we need offensive linemen that badly. So I figured why not take somebody else. Um, I'm going to take a, another running back, I think, here, though. Let me see. Reggie Sherwood. Or Ben Wharton. We can take Ben Wharton later. So let me potentially get a fullback, okay? Marcus Patterson. Let's go. He's a 71. This guy's a beast. Look at his lead block. <laughs> we have a great blocking fullback now. All right, so the uh, running back is gone. That's sad. It's very painful. Um, Do we take a quarterback instead? Philip Camp, a strong arm quarterback. He's a 60. With a 90 throw power. Yep. All right. He's not very good. Here in the seventh round, you know what we do? You know what we do on the channel? We take a kicker. All right. We're going to take the tallest kicker. There's two guys who are 6'3". So I'm going to go with Drew Walsh because he has a better combine. 68. He's incredible. He's actually really not that good. I also drafted, I'm pretty sure, at least three number 13s. I mean, that's, that's sick, but you're not going to keep that number. <laughs> There's someone pretty good on the team who's already number 13. So, yeah, once again, that draft went pretty well. Um, I don't really need, like, any of the players I drafted. Like, I think this team would do good without them. But, I mean, we have another Iowa tight end. I just realized he went to Iowa, dude. That makes sense. Iowa produces some ridiculous tight ends. At least of recently, they have. Um, but here's another one. He's going to join the crew. Uh, but then, you know, Jamal Walters, he's going to play for sure. Brooks Weber probably won't play that much. Might be the fourth receiver. Cole Fry, I think I'm going to start. And then Anthony Ware is going to play. So, you know, we, we got some guys. I know I just said before that, like, I didn't really need anybody, but Anthony Ware is actually pretty useful. I don't have, like, a safety who's even that close right now. But let's check out the rest of the NFL. I went the wrong direction, but you know what? Who cares? There's an 80 overall receiver, Kevin Singleton. I would have had to trade up a lot for this guy. But 93 speed, 94 XL, 85 catching on the same team as Justin Jefferson. That's a cool combination. Leonard Williams. Let's go. Never heard of this player before. A <laughs> really good looking defensive end. Uh, we have Chester Horn. This guy looks good as well. There is two receivers at the top of the class who looked insane. And, you know, this guy went pick two and Singleton went pick three. So, you know, I would have had to trade up quite a bit. Mitch Pierman is actually, or Perriman is a really good player. All right. That guy's actually really solid. As a pass rusher. I don't need a pass rusher, but he's really good. Derek Swan's good. Parker Garfield, 77 overall quarterback at the end of the second round. That's a cool pick. All right. Well, that was an interesting draft, actually. Some, some really good players there. And we got a handful of starters. So let's go. Now, I'm pretty confident this is going to be the last season. I think this team will make the playoffs again. And I feel like at that point, kind of marks a, a fairly successful rebuild. I'm good to end this one, I think. Um, after only three seasons, but here is the offense, right? We have a new tight end. We have Fry starting. Now I love Kroger, right? He played great as a rookie. He was really good, but I just feel like Fry is the better receiver. Much better speed, good hands, even has better blocking. I don't know. I think Fry is the better overall tight end right now, and I think he has uh, more potential, even though he only has normal dev. But you know, Justin Herbert's been crazy. Keenan Allen has been specifically ridiculous. Devontae Adams was, was good last year, but he's a 99. He's good. Mike Williams is still good. Austin Eckler took a massive step up last year from the first year we had in this video. Uh, the offensive line, I mean, aside from the tackles, is really good. Hopefully the tackles can just do a little bit better. And then defensively, we have a new right end. 
in Walters. Hidden Dev looks awesome. A new free safety in Ware. And then we also have Sean Murphy bunting on the team. So this team's good. This team's definitely really good. We're an 86, 85 offense, 88 defense. I have faith in the squad. I definitely do. We're back to the playoffs again. And we went 11 and 6. Still in second place. Uh, in the division. That's not fantastic, but it's all right. Justin Herbert is going to lead the NFL in passing yards and passing touchdowns. He has just been so good this entire rebuild. I mean, 17 picks is a bit much, like one per game, but still, I mean, 5,400 yards, 48 touchdowns. I can look past that. Um, Austin Eckler was pretty good again, 4.1 yards per carry. Not nearly as good as last year, though. Nine touchdowns for him. Joshua Kelly, seven touchdowns. Okay. Uh, Devontae Adams, 14 touchdowns, 1,400 yards. Keenan Allen, just a terrible year compared to what we're used to. 1,400 yards still, 100 catches, 12 touchdowns. Just, you know, 10 years of experience. Still, like, at the top of his game. Uh, the rookie tight end, over 1,000 yards. Let's go. Austin Eckler, five touchdowns. Six touchdowns on here for Joshua Kelly on 15 catches. That's a ridiculous rate. All right. Sacks allowed. Not that good from the tackles again, but whatever. I'll take it. The offense is still cooking. Oh, so is the defense. All right, well, 128 tackles for Kenneth Murray, 15 tackles for loss for Joey Bosa and Preston Murphy, 21 sacks for Joey Bosa, 11 for Nwosu, 9 for Murphy. We have three picks for Kenneth Murray and Derwin James, two for Asante Samuel and Sean Murphy Bunting, one for Joey Bosa, Anthony Ware, and JC Jackson. Third on offense. Defense has to be like top 20, right? They can't still be bad. Okay, ninth. Let's go. I, the record should be better than this, but whatever. Justin Herbert at number five for MVP. Who won it? Oh, it was Zeke. Okay. Nobody else from the Chargers here. But Lane Cunningham, a quarterback from the Bucks at number 10. AFC Offensive Player of the Year, Justin Herbert at number two. Trevor Lawrence. Let's go. Love me some Trevor Lawrence. Also, Randy Turner, nice. Defensive player of the year going to Joey Bosa. Definitely deserves that. Offensive rookie of the year, Cole Fry, at number two. Hopefully he goes up in dev trade. Marcus Patterson and Brooks Weber make the list. Defensive rookie of the year, Anthony Ware, at number three. Jamal Walters, at number five. We'll have to check out his dev trade as well. Uh, best quarterback is Patrick Mahomes. Justin Herbert, though, at number three. Uh, best running back. Yeah, I didn't expect to see Austin Eckler. He didn't have that good of a season. Best receiver is Keenan Allen, followed by Devontae Adams. This receiving group is ridiculous, dude. Best O-lineman is Ronnie Stanley. I feel like I'm saying ridiculous a lot. I apologize. But Corey Lindsley, number 10. Let's go. We got one. Best D-lineman. Um, we have Preston Murphy at number 9. Best linebacker is Joey Bosa in Wosu at number 5. Love that. Best defensive back, Trayvon Mullen is going to win it. Uh, Derwin James at number 7. We'll take that. Oh, I didn't check out best kicker. I need to. Hang on. This is very important to me. Best kicker. Chris Boswell, Drew Walsh, number six. Awesome. All right. We have such a good kicker on this team. He's automatic. Um, now we have to take on a good team again. I don't really want to play the Patriots. They're really good in this game. Can I get a playoff win, please? Ah, uh, we don't. That's unlucky. That's very unlucky. But I still think I'm going to end this one here. Because this was very successful in my eyes. We had some pretty crazy stats. We had a good team the past couple of seasons. I'm good with this one. Maybe this is one we could potentially come back to later. Um, but I think this is a nice rebuild. Of course, no Super Bowl or anything like that. That's like, you know, the end goal technically. But I kind of just like building a cool team uh, who is capable of making the playoffs. In my head, that's a success. Super Bowls are awesome. But, you know, you get them with weird teams. And you don't get them with really good teams. So, they don't mean that much i feel like whatever i'm rambling but the packers are gonna win the super bowl 38 to 17 um let's check out the development trait upgrades on the team all right on the offense the tight end is up love that for him he's amazing 78 star what a guy defensively uh the dn had star all right um and nobody is up in dev trait not many development trait upgrades on this defensive side that's for sure. We got like one, I think, and it was for Murphy after his rookie year. Got a lot more on the offense, which is nice. But anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. Really hope you guys enjoyed, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye. This is where the